Hello and welcome to this Newton's second and third law video. My name is Mr. Doherty. I'm just going to show you what the lab setup looks like so that when you're watching the videos in a few minutes, you can uh, understand what the videos are showing a little bit better. So we're going to have this little cart here, which is attached to a string, which connects to our pulley down there. Uh, right now, when it is sitting at mark one on the table, if we go down and look at the position of our weight, Mark 1 has the weight uh, all the way up at the top. It's right about even with the table. If we were to go back here and move our cart down to Mark 2. At Mark 2, when the front of the cart is right at the uh, front of that blue tape line, at Mark 2, that is when the weight hits the floor. So I actually let the weight rest on the floor and that's where I decided where to put this tape mark for mark two. And then I went ahead and measured 40 centimeters forward from that. And that is where I put the tape mark from mark three. So from the beginning of the mark two tape line to the beginning of the mark three tape line, there's exactly 40.00 centimeters there. So in our experiment, we are going to uh, start our cart back here at Mark 1 for all of our trials. We're going to do three trials where there's nothing on the cart. And then we're going to do three additional trials where we put this book on the cart just for some additional weight. And so trials 4, 5, and 6, you will see uh, the cart have that book on it just to give it some extra weight. So for each of the trials that you're about to watch, you're gonna see two camera angles of the lab. One will be about here, where you're seeing the motion from marks one to mark three. And then you'll see a secondary camera angle down there of the weight as it's dropping. Your job is to watch those videos. And for each trial, you are going to time from mark one to mark two and record how long it takes for the cart to do that. And then you're also gonna record from mark two to mark three. I would recommend that you set your timing so that when the front of the cart passes or aligns with uh, the first part or the front edge of this tape mark, that's when you should um, do your timing. So you'll time it from right here is where I'm going to start it to right here to get your time from mark one to mark two. And then you can either pause or rewatch the video a second time and get uh, from mark two to mark three.